God bless you. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, my name is Apostle Peter Daniel. It has been a long time I come to to the net because of some issue. And uh, you bless the name of God for his uh, miraculous uh, wonders and how he has taken us through. And the Lord will bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. And today we are going to speak about what the Lord has for us. There is a great message that God is sending to the church and all over the world. I send it to all the Christians all over the world. Everyone is in as much you want to make it to heaven. This message is for you. It's not something you can miss at all. So the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, before we start the message, I want us to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Eternal rock of age, we bless your name. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the adorations. We thank you because you never fail us. We thank you because you are here with us. Without glorified in Jesus' name. Lord, as we are hearing the word right now, we ask you, Father, that you send your power, your spirit, and give us the inside to see the things in the spirit the power to see the things in the spirit in the name of jesus christ holy spirit of god we ask you god to come down with your power and might in jesus name thank you father because you have answered our prayer in jesus mighty name we pray amen uh, god bless you once again uh my name is apostle peter daniel from nigeria uh, this morning, I want to give a message. I want to tell you the message that the Lord God tells me to tell the world, especially the Christians, the church, people who are genuinely saved and who are expecting the coming of Jesus Christ. Yesterday, I was in the midst of uh, meditations when the Lord gave me a serious message. He opened my eyes to see the things of the Spirit. Yesterday, the Lord showed me some things and the Lord gave me some interpretation of what I saw. And what I saw baffled me a lot because it is more than what we Christians is expecting. In fact, in the time that this kind of thing is happening, it is a time whereby the Christian is not ready for it. Yesterday, as I was meditating, the Lord opened my eyes to see Satan holding a meeting and, uh, and the meeting is all purposely, and uh, let me say, the meeting is all about the Christians the children of God. I am not talking about people who have given themselves to the devil. I mean those who are truly children of God, child of God. Then there is another part. This revelation is also uh, is also, also given. Uh, uh, I also saw that this kind of meeting is also for the world. World generally. The one that is also for the world generally, I'm going to talk about that in the next video. Or the one I'm going to do later. But I will eventually do them. But the one that I personally was told by God was the one, uh, you know, I want to talk about today is the one that I saw about the Christians. I saw the devil holding a meeting with a higher demon when i talk about higher demon these are the demons that the bible is referring to in the that jesus christ has been referring to in the bible the demons the high demon these are the fallen angels the fallen angels that fell with jesus the high ranking demons you know when the fall when the when the fallen angel fell there's something that happens in between. Out of the angels who fell with Satan, uh, 
some of them are, are in the in the group of in the michael some of them are in the group of in the gabriel some of them are in that kind of group like that like that like that so and uh, these demons are not just ordinary demons but they are called principalities and power power forces power they are the one controlling this world now the, i saw the devil having a meeting with them and the devil is sending them i saw the devil sending them to the world now this now now what is the devil sending them to do one of the things that i received yesterday was that he sent them to go and dream the spiritual life of christians to go and drain them completely Drain them from pain and doing the service of God. In this time around, you will see that you are hot today, but tomorrow you'll be cold. I saw them that they are entering into the torches, entering into the Christian's home, entering every area to go and destroy the foundation of their spiritualism. The, 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 the devil sent them now it is no more the kind of small small demon that the, the christian is well aware that the spirit of anger spirit of lord they are more than that what kind of demons they are not demons that people, a, a casual christian can just pray and say you just you get out and they get out these are principalities and power the power ruling in second heaven I saw that the devil sent them to the hell to come and destroy the torch. And anyone that is truly a candidate of heaven. Another thing I will say that one later about the mark of, uh, you know, I what I saw about Jesus Christ placing a mark on his people. So that one is later. I will talk about that one later. But let's about this one. Anyone that is having the maxim of God, they are to go there and to drain their spirit. Not only that, when they drain them, they kill them. When they drain their spirit, they kill them. After them have been completely drained, they kill them. I saw, I saw heresy in the church. This demon are bringing heresy into the house of God. So different things are this theme of bringing to the house of God. The devil sent them in a great way whereby any Christian at all, any Christian at all that is not careful can easily fall without remedy. And easily fall with that remedy. Then I also saw in some area whereby I saw them that during the time Christians sleep, during the time Christians sleep, they were going around to tempt them and to sow what are not supposed to be sold into their life. Sowing what are not supposed to be sold into their life. The time they are sleeping, the time they are sleeping, they are showing what they are not supposed to be sold into their life. So, the Lord just showed me this kind of things. Not only that, I also saw some in, in some in, in that in that quick revelations. I saw where this demon are uh, uh, standing at a physical accuser of the bedroom. Listen to me. These demons are able to transform themselves to human being. How they can do it, I don't know. 
they can easily go and black a man of God on the internet. You will, you will just see them black a man of God on their own on the internet. Without knowing research, just blackmailing them. And you, as a child of God, if care is not taken, you just find out that you are in that trap. Because you will begin to believe a lie. And by the time you believe a lie, that will eventually qualify you to go to hell. I saw this demon, they, were, they have the ability to turn into human being, to go to police station and begin to report ministers that are shaking the darkness. They have the ability to go and report them. They will just go there and report, bring a light. And before they know, the police begin to look for them. And one of the things I also saw is that these demons are also working very hard in the people who are going to the uh, prayer camp to go and seek for them. I mean, to the refuge place. Let me say it in that place. This demon will cause them to disappoint God. This demon will cause them to do something that will make God angry. This demon will plant seed that God has not planted into their life overnight. They will just see that they are behaving in a, in, in a way that they don't feel like behaving before. Like they will just see themselves behaving somehow. To the level that the bedroom will be complaining. Even between husband and wife, the wife or the husband can be just behaving on anyhow. This kind of things are what these demons are meant to go and do in the life of the Christians, those who are going to heaven. And God is shouting it that I should tell you that are listening to me to be extremely careful and be prayerful. Listen to me, if we are talking about the time to be a prayerful warrior, is this time. This time is the time we're supposed to pray well. Is the time we're supposed to shout well. Is the time we're supposed to cry out loud to God Almighty. Is the time we're supposed to pray and ask God for divine dominion, power to overcome this kind of forces. Because one of the things I saw is that they come in a dis this guy's way too in the dream. Sometimes they speak to Christians. So he, as a Christian, if you are not careful enough to identify or confirm well from God, you might have the evil spirit voice and think it is God. This is the kind of thing the devil has done now. So, I will tell all the Christians to be very careful. If you are going to be careful, let it be now. Prayer is needed. Serious prayer is needed. Or else, many Christians will end up in hell. It is not when you didn't collect the job. That makes that you say uh, it's not when you collect job that make you to go to hell. No, you might not collect job and see go to hell. You might be preaching and be praying and be fasting and be doing all these things and still go to hell. If you are not careful at the at this hour, the hour we are is a crucial time, a crucial hour. The kind of hour that is difficult to identify. The kind of hour that is crucial to move in. 
So you need to be very careful. And you need power of God. You need the Spirit of God to take you up. This demon will come and search for your weak point and begin to attack you in that weak point. They are not a demons of uh, anger. Now, if you look at it now, you will see that those who are, if you look at it as a Christian, I don't know, but let me tell you this. Those who are angry before, I can tell you that most of them are no more angry. Probably they have overcome it because it is not the issue of anger matter now. But they are coming in another dimension. They are trying to control the, the life of Christian. I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Every area, this kind of demons have arrested you. The Lord God Almighty will set you free. It's not a matter, I tell you that. It's not a matter of I am living holy life. I am a holiness uh, man of God. I am this and that. <laughs> it's not that. It's not that matter now. The matter on ground is how to fight. You will not go to hell in Jesus' name. This is the summary of what I saw about these demons. These demons are not just the ordinary demons. They are demons that is assigned for a special case, a majesty case. They are the demon ruling air fire. Air. They are the demons that come from hell. They are expert demons. I can call them professional demons. They are not just demons that you can, it's a castle demon. No, 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 no. Professional, they are being in hell. We have witnessed Christian going to hell. They have, they have worked, they have no work that can bring Christian to hell. Do you know why the devil is doing all this? Because the rapture will soon take place. Rapture will soon take place. So, and he won't jesus christ to loss you want to get the maturity it's not left to you to decide whether you are a candidate of heaven or not check your life check your own life <laughs> check your life prevention you don't know whether the demon is already operating in the higher level in your life. Paraventure, whether you are already in the... We do know. We do know. It's possible. And you don't know. Maybe you are part of the people that he has captivated and you never know. He can use every means. I told you before, they are expert demons. They are only meant for the end of the world. Nothing else. These are demons that will be calling the name of Jesus. And they will be laughing. These are demons that will be calling Jesus' name. And they will be laughing. They are not just a small picking demon. They are expert ones is in your hands to buckle your belt and fight for your own salvation and the lord help you and save you and save me too from this power and forces of darkness in jesus name let me pray for you our everlasting father we want to bless your name because of this service we thank you oh father because your message has been released to your children and you are going to save them all from the hands of this demon. I thank you, Jesus Christ, 
because you will deliver them completely right now you will speak to them and set them free from the hand of the darkness thank you jesus thank you holy spirit and i pray for you as you are listening to me for total deliverance in jesus name as you listen to me you will receive your healing you will receive your deliverance you will receive power to overcome thank you father in jesus name we pray amen 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 god bless you please don't just go without subscribing subscribe to my channel apostle mr daniel very soon another video will be out by the grace of god god bless you bye